Hello, dear friends. The Space Force is leading humankind's expansion into space, but facing shift military competition from China. The militarization of space is the least desirable scenario for our planet, unless it is to defend us from an external threat. But we must not be pitted against each other. I am convinced that the Federation will not allow a space war between terrestrial nations. Opinion piece. Alien captured. The image is real, but it's not the real thing. It's a campaign to promote a movie. Space Force unveils new uniform. Space is humanity's last frontier. Strange orbs in the sky watch over the Space Force. This generation will see the first baby born in space. Depth contagion could spread globally. Fed's power opens door to tighter regulations. Transient inflation is a splitting fig leaf. Hispanics must think as a block to gain ground. Credit markets will withstand epigrant shocks. BP closes gas stations in England due to truck shortages. Already empty shelves in UK supermarkets. Guatemala's Fuego Volcano also erupts. First descent to the bottom to the pit of hell in Germany. Let's start. A military truck carrying an alleged captured alien has social media buzzing months after its sighting, according to Fernando Gonzalo. Internet users from all over the world are hallucinating with the images. A truck has been sighted in different locations, transporting a terrifying giant alien creature alive and tightly chained. This is not a joke or a mass hysteria. The images are real, but for everyone's peace of mind, the supposed evil alien is not real, but spectacular Amazon campaign to promote the movie. Tomorrow's War is Amazon Prime's brand new blockbuster and revolves around the war humanity would engage in with an implacable alien species called White Spike. The transport of the dangerous White Spike in a transparent container is part of the promotion that Amazon ran in June and July, but the images have just gone viral now. Space is the final frontier of mankind's dreams. When we gaze into the cosmos, we are moved by the grandeur of the universe and exclaim to ourselves, Oh God, how great you are! Fifty years ago, Captain Kirk and the crew of the Starship Enterprise began their journey into space in the fabulous Trek series. Simon Jenner, a British specialist in human spaceflight development at Axiom, builder of the first private space station, says it is an amazing time in space and predicts that this generation will see the birth of the first baby in space. Space Force The Space Force presents its uniforms described as modern, distinctive and professional. The US Space Force unveiled Tuesday a new prototype uniform for its members known, known as Guardians. The new dress model is navy blue. In addition, it has a series of silver buttons with the Space Force symbol, executed diagonally from the right shoulder to the front of the chest. However, netizens were quick to mock the design and posted a variety of messages and memes in which they drew attention to the similarities 
of the new uniform with the costumes worn by actors in the Star Trek and Battlestar Galactica sagas. The United Space the United States Space Force USSF is the space survey branch of the armed forces, one of the eight uniformed services and the world's first and currently only independent space force. Along with its sister branch, the Air Force, the Space Force is part of the Department of the Air Force, one of three civilian-led military departments within the Department of Defense. This military unit, whose center is in Arlington County, Virginia, has about 2,500 guardsmen, 30,590 airmen, and 77 spacecraft. Major systems and spacecraft include the Global Positioning System Constellation military satellite communications. The Boeing X-37B are named space plane, the missile warning system, the space surveillance network, and the satellite control network. The Space Force is responsible for organizing training and equipping space forces, which are then presented to the unified combatant commands especially Space Command for Operational Employment. Newly confirmed Air Force and the Space Force Secretary Frank Kendall described the situation in orbit as a long-term strategic national competition with a strategic, a strategic adversary. China has moved aggressively to weaponize space, Kendall told the recent 36th Space Symposium. Surveillance ET, Space Force unit, is watched by strange orbs in the sky. UFO experts Ye Yasum Surachi has film filmed several strange orbs over Buckley Space Force base in Colorado, and some of the objects appear to change to change shape and has prompted claims that they are watching gas. The Space Force, taxed with protecting satellites ob orbiting the Earth, has been attacked by strange orbs over its headquarters and has sparked claims that they are watching gas. UFO expert Yasuo Surachi has filmed several strange orbs over Buckley Space Force Base in Aurora, Colorado. The objects appear to change shape, while others are similar to the alleged ticking UFO, Tic Tac UFO, fil filmed by Navy pilots. The Space Force, the first in more than 70 years, is owned by the Air Force and launched in 2019. It doesn't intend to put troops in orbit, but will protect U.S. assets, such as hundreds of satellites used for communications and surveillance. Some UFO hunters believe the Space Force will assume responsibility for tracking and investigating UFOs. Economy Stocks rise, dollar falls. Global stock markets rallied Thursday and the dollar retreated from one-month highs as worries about contagion from Evergrande, China, faded and investors digested the first plans to curb stimulus. Treasury yields rose after the Fed opened the door to raising interest rates starting next year, a potential move that was bolstered by the Bank of England's outlook on rates and the rate hike by the Norwegian Central Bank. Oil prices rose on Thursday, with Brent crude touching its highest level in more than two months, supported by rising demand for fuel and a drop 
incurred inventories as production remained hampered in the Gulf of Mexico following two hurricanes. Transient inflation is a slippery fig leaf. Central bankers love the, well, the wet transient, possibly too much. Official like, officials like Fed Chairman Jerome Powell and the European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde resort to it to explain why higher inflation doesn't guarantee a quick reversal of ultra-loose monetary policies that support crisis-damaged economies. But the adjective is doing a lot of heavy lifting. Fed's Powell opens door to tighter regulations. Even as Fed Chairman Jerome Powell docked the latest question about his future as head of the central bank, he signaled of openness of two democratic demands to tighter regulation of Wall Street under a new regulatory chief may assuage critics. Oil refiners use Iraqi Canadian crude to replace storm losses. Oil refiners looking to replace Gulf of Mexico crude lost to the storm have been turning to Iraqi and Canadian oil while Asian buyers have been seeking Middle Eastern and Russian grades. U.S. Special Envoy for Haiti resigned over the potations. The Special Envoy for Haiti, Ambassador Daniel Foote, resigned amid mass deportations of Haitians fleeing recent political unrest and natural disasters. Europe UK supply crisis of a lorry drive shortage. A prolonged shortage of lorry drivers is causing more head headaches for businesses and consumers. Managers at Tesco, British, Britain's largest supermarket chain, have told the government they are concerned about Hoda shopping and the run up to Christmas. They fear that empty shelves will make the problems worse when they, their peak season arrives. BP closes gas stations in UK due to struck shortage. Oil major British Petroleum said it had temporarily closed some of its service stations in Britain after its ability to transport fuel from refineries was affected due to a severe shortage of truck drivers in the industry. France denies end to submarine scandal, prepares to invoice Australia. France is not putting the brakes on the scandal caused by the loss of the million dollar contract for the sale of submarines to Australia after the creation of the AUKUS Alliance. The dispute has not been resolved after Joe Biden's call to Emmanuel Macron. Puch de Mont arrested in Sardinia. The former president of the Generalitat has been arrested this Thursday on the Italian island of Sardinia in compliance with the search and arrest warrant of the Supreme Court. This Friday, he will be brought to court to decide on his release or extradition to Spain. Brussels opened a new case against Spain for the environmental impact of the Seville Almeria Ave. Rapid speed train. The European Commission has opened a new case against Spain for not having adopted all the necessary measures to protect the natural habitat and beds in the protected area of Campinas de Sevilla in the construction of the high-speed railway line between Seville and Almeria, Spain. La Palma volcano threatens banana crop. Jets of red-hot lava shot into the sky over La Palma on Thursday as a huge cloud of toxic ash drifted from the Cumbre Vieja volcano toward the mainland, endangering the island's crucial banana crops. 
lava spewed from the Cumbre Vieja volcano on the island of La Palma now covers more than 166 hectares has destroyed 350 buildings. Since last Monday, when the magma flows emitted by Cumbre Vieja were advancing at 700 meters per hour, there was speculation that they might reach the sea. This encounter with the Atlantic waters has not yet occurred due to the orography and a gradual decrease in speed, since the lava is currently moving at only 4 meters per hour. Sulfur cloud over Spain Most of the sulfur dioxide or the most hum harmful of the substances that make up this cloud is found in layers high in the atmosphere, especially as it moves away from the source, so that at a great distance only a slight haze can be seen in the sky. Geoengineering The Cumbre Vieja volcano eruption and earthquake swarms have all the appearance of geoengineered volcanic activity. According to Benjamin Fulford, the surprising discovery was that according to MI6, the thousands of earthquakes followed by the volcanic eruption on La Palma were traced to a harp array based not in China but in Norway. The harp matrix in Norway identified at the source of the La Palma incident is located around the huge subway base complex there. This base came under temporary scrutiny in the late 2009 as the place of origin of the mysterious Norwegian spiral. The Northern European Thule Society appears to be involved according to Fulford. A Thule Society source linked to linked it to events at the Thule Air Base in Greenland and a complicated connection between Greenland and what lies beneath Lake Geneva. Fuego Volcano erupts in Guatemala. The erupted face of the volcano causes ash fall in the communities of Panimache 1 and 2, Morelia, El Porvenir, Santa Sofia, Sangre de Cristo y San Pedro y Epocapa. So far, there are no evacuations. Intense earthquake on Mars. NASA's InSight probe has detected one of the most intense and longest earthquakes ever recorded on Mars. A thousand days after its arrival on the planet, the earthquake recorded by the geophysical research module had a magnitude of 4.2 and shook the Martian surface for an hour and a half. Amer the Americas Hispanics must think as a block to gain ground. In quotes. In a world that lives with a terrible fracture subject to borders, Mexican actor Diego Luna says it is essential that Hispanic countries look more like a block to gain ground. The problem is that some Hispan Hispanic countries are not on the same page. The Americas is rich in food production, but its inhabitants find it very expensive to have access to healthy food, despite the fact that the region has great nutritional resources, according to FAO specialist Katerina Sanchez, Karina Sanchez. Food shortages are one of the issues that mark this day at the UN General Assembly. It is estimated that famine already affects 10% of the world's population. Argentina makes first payment to the IMF. Argentina paid $1,884 million to the International Monetary Fund to settle the first payment corresponding to the loan of $44 billion contracted by the government 
of Mauricio Macri. El Dorado sends signals. A team of archaeologists have, has found in Colombia eight ceramic vessels with metal statues and emeralds inside them inside the temple of the Muisca civilization. A civilization known for its goldsmith skills and whose work may have inspired the legend of the city of gold El Dorado. China crisis. Credit markets will withstand Evergrande shocks. Is China Evergrande another Lehman Brothers moment? Not at all. According to the $40 trillion global corporate debt market, international credit investors have good reason to be indifferent to the potential domino effect of problems at the China's real estate giant with an accumulated debt of $300 billion. Evergrande bondholders remain hopeless for Thursday's payment. China Evergrande Group's dollar bondholders were still awaiting information on a key interest payment due Thursday and some holders have given up hope of receiving a coupon payment before the deadline. Why debt contagion could spread globally? According to Mike Adams, the Evergrande fiasco is nothing more than a classic Ponzi scheme involving real estate developers and investors driven by greed to chase high yields while forgetting about the existence of risk. But by what? By a flood of incoming investment money, Epigrande produced ghost cities of apartment buildings across China, selling their ridiculous idea that these apartments would generate returns for those who participated. Now the whole thing is imploding in a classic Ponzi collapse, and the contagion will likely spread to other countries, affecting banks, institutions and more. The avalanche has begun. Middle East Islamic State Taliban's uses excuse me Islamic State uses Taliban's own dusty tactics to attack Afghanistan new rulers. Just over a month after toppling the Western backed government in Kabul, Afghanistan's new Taliban rulers face internal enemies who have adopted many of the urban warfare tactics tactics that marked their own successful guerrilla campaign, whether they give, they take. The pilots of the flight from Kabul without turning off engines. Spanish Air Force pilots have recounted the difficulties they faced in the plan to evacuate Afghans from Kabul airport, in a mission in which they could not turn off the engines at any time between landing and takeoff, and which forced them to solve some mechanical problems on the fly. Houthis near the city of Marib with Yemeni oil and gas fields. Houthi military forces are intensifying their advance towards the city of Marib in central Yemen, which is held by the Saudi backed government and are stepping up fighting in the south. Curious. A team of speologists from Oman carried out what is believed to be the first descent to the bottom of the legendary Barhout Well, a natural wonder feared by many locals who have ancestrally considered it a prison for genies, like the one in Aladdin's lamp. Over the centuries, Rumors and legends have been passed down from generation to generation about the evil genies of spirits known as jinns, who supposedly live in this well. Inside, the exploration team found snakes, dead animals, and even cave pearls. Japan authorizes for the first time 
the sale of genome edited tomatoes for hypertension. For the first time in the country's history, Japanese authorities have authorized the marketing of genome edited tomatoes. The new variety was modified to provide it with a, a higher content of aminobutric acid, GABA, G -A -B -A, a nutrient that helps reduce blood pressure. A new computation to predict the butterfly effect. A relatively new type of computation that mimics the way that human brain works thus provided a new way to solve the most difficult computing problems. Flying grain of sand. A team of Northwestern University in Illinois created the smallest human-made flying structure to date. It is a tiny microchip called a microflyer, the size of a grain of sand. The researchers were inspired by the way trees such as maples disperse their seeds using a strong breeze. And that is all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.